Do you ever wish you could just skip forward 10 years and see what the EVs of the future would look like? Well, I might be able to give you a sneak peek. This is the next Xpeng P7. Welcome to EV.com. So why is this called the next P7? Well, the hardcore EV fans among you will know the first one, the original P7 came out in the year 2020. And when it came out, it was smart, it was sexy, and it was sporty as well. It kind of put X-Punk on the map as well as Chinese EVs. It's safe to say it was an icon in the Chinese EV industry at the time. This here, the next P7 is trying to do the same thing, but is it sporty, is it sexy, and is it smart like its predecessor? Well, let's find out. So our fans will know this is actually the second review of the P7. We previously did a static review of the car, focusing on the look of the exterior and the interior. So I'm not gonna focus on these things too much today. I'm just gonna give you our five highlights from last time. So first highlight will be the evolution of the front face design. So it's still very X-Peng. We still have the full length daytime running light across the front. This X-Peng was actually one of the first brands to do this. Now, of course, you see it on every EV and every brand. This time, this one is one 1.4 meters so we actually have their logo moved up from before but this one is a new logo it's actually flush with the bodywork and this will actually light up in the night it's certainly very imposing and very sporty but does it have the performance to match let's find out later one of the interior highlights of the next p7 would be this button up here which you can barely see in the corner so this is actually a completely customizable button so you can assign this to whatever you like you can have it to open the trunk so when you get out of the car you just press this and the trunk opens or open even open the frunk you could have it go into sports mode right now this function turns on the massage seat so obviously the person who was driving this needed a quick stress relief so when they're getting very anxious sitting in traffic they can just push this and the massage starts but obviously you can customize it to however you want another highlight will be the size of the trunk even though this is a sedan it does have a hatchback so we do have the trunk opening up nice and wide so 631 expandable to 1929 liters of space so not a bad size at all one more highlight from the p7 is the 86 inch heads up display we actually already saw this on the g7 which we reviewed last time please check the link if you want to see that review but i still think for this car with its sporty credentials this type of heads-up display is great even though we still do have our driver's display here as well final highlight will be this car's profile so the original p7 was a very sexy and sporty looking car i think this one does as well in its look i think it looks great from the side track coefficient 0.201 so this car potentially can be very efficient as well but we will check the efficiency a little bit later x pen claims that with the design of this next p7 it is breaking the homogenization that is happening around designs in the Chinese EV industry. Whether that is true or not, I will not dare to say, but I will say it is very out there. And at the same time, it tends to be a little bit divisive, a bit like Marmite, you know, you either love it or you hate it, but which side are you on? Make sure you let us know in the comments. For me, I actually think it's really refreshing to see a design that is so different from everything else. I think it's bold and I think we need to keep pushing things forward before they start to stagnate. So for me, I approve. But anyway, enough about the look, let's get to drive. So we're gonna start with an acceleration test, checking out the car's launch mode. So let's see what this is made of. All right, we're gonna put it to the test and throttle down and we're gonna launch. All right, so the version I have today isn't actually the quickest version of this car. This is actually the rear wheel drive only version. If you do go for the all wheel drive, kind of like the, the performance, top trim, you will get 437 kilowatts of power and 695 newton meters of torque. So that top trim will do 0 to 100 in 3.7 seconds, which I think is a really good number. 
I don't think we need to go sub three. I think 3.7 seconds is good. It's, it's as fast as you're going to need. Let's let's be honest, shall we? So this next P7 doesn't just look very sporty. It actually is, and that's going beyond the 0 to 100 kilometers an hour acceleration time. We have a mid-mounted electric motor, just like you would have a mid-mounted gasoline motor in a, in a traditional supercar, and a weight distribution of close to 50-50, which obviously makes this car more enjoyable to drive as well as being better to handle around those corners. The top speed of the next P7 is 230 kilometers an hour and when you need to stop fast it is possible with the help of those Brembo four piston calipers. So it certainly has all the ingredients of being a potentially very dynamic drive. I feel like it's definitely capable of a lot more than what I've given it today. Okay let's talk about battery so right now this in the next P7 is available in two different battery options. The first one is a 74.9 kilowatt LFP battery, which gives this a CLTC range of 702. So 702 kilometers on a base spec, even though it is CLTC, is still pretty good. The next model will be a the long range model, if you will, which has a bigger battery. So this is a 92.2 NMC battery, and this is gonna give you 820 kilometers of CLTC range. So this is essentially the long range version. This is probably the version I would go for. But if you do want a bit more performance you can go for the dual motor version which is going to give you that 3.7 seconds 0 to 100 uh, acceleration time and actually the range doesn't suffer too much so this has a range of 750 kilometers so obviously this is a intelligent vehicle it will figure out when it needs to use all of its motors and when it just needs to use you know the rear two or the front two so it is a smart vehicle in that respect and it will be very efficient you know Xpengs are some of the more efficient vehicles vehicles coming out of China. So while this car is sporty and it does have you know the performance it is actually very intelligent at the same time. So this is Xpeng trying to bring the conversation back to the you know the original P7 being a very intelligent and a very sporty EV. So now the next P7 wants to do the same thing. As mentioned previously the next P7 has what the brand calls its super AI hub which it says is 26 times more powerful than the kind of like industry standard. So this has three of their AI Turing chips as well as one Qualcomm 8295P chip and making it the EV with the world's number one computing power and the vehicle's overall computing power is capable of supporting L3 driving. It doesn't have L3 now, but it is ready for L3 in the future. So how did the next P7 do in terms of consumption? So if I go into here and check the last 20 kilometers, we've got a consumption rate of 15.7 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. Not great, a little bit off the 12 they say is their maximum, whatever that means, but still okay, still passable. We did have two people in the car with me when I was shooting today so that's going to add to this. Not as good as some of the Xpengs we've driven before but still okay. Xpeng is really moving at lightning speed right now with numerous product launches across global markets and the eighth consecutive month of more than 30,000 vehicle sales. Okay you might say that most of these sales are in the China market but the China market is the most competitive EV market in the world by a very very long way so that is very impressive. They keep throwing out great products like the G7 which we reviewed last time check the link if you want to see that and this the next P7 but is this next P7 really sexy smart and sporty what do you think make sure you let us know in the comments below would you like to see this car in your markets be sure to give us a like and a subscribe I'll see you next time